Hey guys, Grant here from Zeus Fitness. Today we're going to do a chest workout using a resistance band from the comfort of your own home. Okay, we're going to do four exercises in total. We're going to do 10 reps of each and we're going to do that four times in a loop. By the end of it, your chest is going to be pumped. You don't need crazy heavy weights, you just need a bit of imagination and a little bit of space on the floor and a set of these resistance bands with handles on them. Okay, so let me talk you through the first exercise. You're going to do a push up with a little bit of added resistance on it using the uh, resistance bands. So we're going to pop the uh, resistance bands behind our back like so, okay? We're going to crisscross it over in position here. We're going to get down the push up position, hands slightly more than shoulder width apart, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we're going to do a single arm incline press. So these resistance bands are a little, uh, little tight to stretch to do two arms at once for this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand on the resistance bands about halfway up. Okay, we take the resistance band in our hand like so over the thumb. So we step our right leg forward, our left leg forward, right leg back. Okay, in a split stance position and we're going to press forward just like so. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to swap over on the other side. So, right foot forward, left foot stretched behind, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That exercise is tougher than it looks. Okay, now we're going to do, we're going to take this, the uh, resistance bands in hand. We're going to stand with one foot dead center. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep the pack nicely tensed and bring it over to the side. One, two, three. Keep that arm nice and straight. Squeeze those pecs. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Now to do that guys, you've really got to flex those pecs and really squeeze them tight in the middle. Now we're going to do a decline press on here. So we're going to get ourselves in position, like so. So we're going to get the feet flat on the floor. We're going to take uh, the resistance band, like so. And we're going to raise up slightly and squeeze as we aim just above the knees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, that's the first lap done. So, we're back to the push-ups again. Gonna give you another angle of it this time. We'll get it just underneath your armpits. All right, crisscross them over, like so. Get in position, down on the floor. Hands slightly more than shoulder width apart. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so we're back to the single arm one. Again, guys, if your resistance bands are kind of weak, you can probably do both at the same time. All right, this one's just pretty tight. So what we're gonna do is a single arm one. So we stand on the band like so. We, we tuck it underneath so it's just above our thumb. We engage the core and we press forward. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to swap it over onto the other side. So the left foot goes back. And again, depending on how heavy your resistance band is or how tight it is, depends on how far along you stand on it. In position, gauge the core, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, we're back. Standing in the middle again, dead center. All right, and again, guys, this one only works if you concentrate on the muscle grips you're aiming to work. So squeeze those pecs and squish them up. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Good. Now we're into a decline press. So we're going to wrap those resistance bands around our back again. All right. We're going to keep the feet flat on the floor. Raise our upper body up slightly. Engage in the core and you bring your hands in almost to meet in the middle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good stuff. So that's two laps done on the third. So Bring the back round again, underneath the armpits. Crisscross them over, down in position. And slightly more than shoulder width apart. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, chest starting to feel that, which is good. So I'm going to do this one head on this time, so you see the direction we're going. So we stand on the band, depending on how taut it is. Okay, and we bring it just underneath our hand over our thumb. Split stance position, engaging the core. And we aim slightly skyward with this one. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're gonna swap it over onto the other leg. Pop it in again. Underhand grip. Right foot forward. Left uh, leg straight behind. And aim upward. One, two. Again, you really gotta focus on your pecs when you're doing this. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, stand center of the band. Okay, and we're crisscrossing over. One, one, two, two, three, three. Four, four. Again, there's a slight bend in your elbow, but that bend doesn't change throughout. You're really trying to squeeze those pecs together on each rep. Eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Good, so we're back to our decline press. If you find this one's too easy uh, for you, we're gonna do it slightly different, okay? So what we're gonna do to tighten the resistance a little bit is we're gonna grip a little further down the bands rather than using the handles, okay? 
And from here, we one, squeeze up, two, even just above the knees, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Again, guys, the lower you go, the more resistance you're going to get on, okay? So you want a tighter squeeze in here, aim lower down the band. All right, so that's three laps done on your last one. Should be feeling that work in the chest by now. I know I am. We're going to crisscross over. So just underneath our armpits again. In position. And three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So we're back in a single arm incline press or double arm if you've got the resistance bands to do it. So over the thumb, right leg back, and press upward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to swab it on the other side. Right foot forward, left foot behind. Split stance and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, crossovers again, stand in the middle. Really squeeze the packs and one. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. And ten. And finally finishing up with a decline press. So probably just blow your shoulder blade. I'll go even tighter with this one. Okay, so lower down the handles. And we're gonna raise up slightly and press up. You're kind of bringing your hands in towards each other as you squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Right, guys, there's our four sets of ten reps and four exercises done just using one of these. If you find that too easy, go a little tighter with the resistance bands. You got the handles there, but you don't necessarily have to use them. You can grip a little bit lower down and get a tighter squeeze. If you find that too easy again, why not do a few more laps of it, okay? We just stuck with four sets of 10 today of everything to keep it uh, nice and short and to the point. So guys, give us your feedback, let me know what you think. Check out our other videos on here for plenty more home workouts. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss as this workout ever again. We're gonna be doing lots more with these resistance bands in the coming weeks, so stay tuned.